Hi guys. Um, it is now ten twenty-two in the morning. Uh, I don't know if you recognize this, but it's called Mr. Ruder. Mr. Ruder. I will actually put the name down uh, on the description of this video. I always usually leave a description unless I'm in a hurry. Um, I wanted to say first of all, um, as you can see, it was about three hundred dollars, two ninety-nine or four. Um, but it was really good. He was. They were really fast and really clean. The most important thing is the clean part, because anytime you're cleaning plumbing and stuff, you know how things can splatter and stuff. But the guy actually had cloth and cleaning stuff, and he actually wiped down everything, and he didn't touch anything unnecessarily, which would have really got me all worked up, you know. But um, it was not bad. Um, I covered the my address and my Mastercard number. That's why it's covered. He wrote it down. Uh, he just took an imprint, so that's why it's covered. Um, but it was originally, uh, he gave me, he told me it would require um, a cable, uh, which will be able to suck through anything that's there. And he said that the cost to use that machine would be $249. Um, so obviously, there wasn't any other choice, because otherwise I'd have to go get someone else. And some plumbing companies require um, $100 just to come to your house. But this guy basically charged me about the same, if you think about it, because the guy would charge me about $100 to $150 anyway, $200. Uh, so it would have been about $300 anyway. So no matter how I did this, I was still going to pay about $300. So what I did, all they did was use this machine. Um, they sucked out the initial part that was in the first little part before it looped. Apparently, he says my drain is like a U shape, similar to under your sink. And so there's no way I would have been able to stick anything in there to clean it myself but um he said that in these cases do not put drain all down there it will not do anything if it's if you pour something like a sand mixture down there it can't seep through when there's dust and sand because it becomes almost like cement he also said that um don't let it stay dried uh because it can actually cement almost and it makes it even harder but um uh, it's it was easy uh, he stuck the machine in for all of maybe three minutes in total and did it all and put it all away already. It was so good. Um, he also poured a bottle of something down there to make sure it was all, you know, to eat any hair or whatever. But he's like, never ever pour anything down the drain, even uh, leftover shampoo and conditioners. Just pour it in the garbage if you have to, in a garbage bag. Uh, or just toss the whole bottle in there. Don't pour it down your drain. Because he says that sometimes things can dry and harden. And if you got hair or debris stuck down there to begin with, it just builds up and builds up. Eventually, the water just has trouble going through. And it doesn't take much, he says, because there's a little loop um, in your drains. So um, in my case, uh, this problem, this the powder, the dust that was in there, the sandy debris that he called it. He called it a sandy debris. Um, it was apparently almost three feet into the drain so that's how much sand was trapped in there and it was that's why I couldn't get any water to go through it was completely blocked um, but th here's his recommendation it's funny no warranty on drain cleaning because uh, he put something down there uh, but do not pour anything down drains <laughs> um, and it says pour into garbage instead <laughs> So he's leaving me a memo telling me don't ever pour anything down there in case I would like forget $300, right? Like I'm going to forget that. Um, so there was an $18 charge I wasn't aware of, but it's $18. I mean, um, hold on, let me just close the door. Okay, so like, because I don't want my landlord in case she's home. But the thing is, you know, um, as opposed, because like I told you guys, when I, um, hold on. When I got these guys, I knew, okay, I knew. But when I got all of these hammies, I did not know that they didn't want any kind of pets, right? So, you know, um, one of the reasons the landlord didn't want me having pets was because he, he worries about the property damage, <laughs> like this. Um, and he's like, you know, are they all in cages, you know? But had he found out about this thing, it would have really made him uneasy because what's next right if you if you screw up the plumbing well, what are you going to pour down my drain next time or you know so i was so glad that he was out of town and the wife happened to be out out at work because 
if they had asked me, I would have just said my mom came to visit and uh, the water was draining very slow in the sink. And uh, my mom recommended that we go get someone to take a look at it before I move out in the in the spring, you know, something like that. Um, but and the guy was really cooperative. I told him like when he asked me, he was not loud, but he, you know, it was in an empty kitchen, right? And so I was like, shh, I, I don't want him to know. And he's like, oh, okay. And then I explained to him about the lease and why. And then I told him also what I poured down the drain. And I was like, you know, so I, I don't want it to get out to the guy that what I did. I don't want my landlord to know that I poured something like this down the drain. Oh, my God. Um, obviously, I'd have to pay this because, you know, it's my problem. But, you know, had it. Had it been anything else I poured down the drain, he said it could have made it a lot worse, a lot harder, a lot more time consuming. Um, but he told me it would be done within an hour. He did it in about 35 minutes and he was clean. He cleaned everything. He didn't touch anything like door handles, even nothing uh, without taking his gloves off. Um, so, you know, I really liked it. He wore these little booty thingies over his shoes. I mean, there was no mess. Uh, the only thing I wiped down was the shower stall do doors with Lysol because, you know, he did turn on the water and hose it all down. But, you know, I don't have the shower handle kind, so there's no way he could have hosed it all down. But he was very clean. And then he wiped it all up with a towel before he left. So the whole shower stall's dry. Like, you know, I, I mean, you couldn't ask for more from this guy. I mean, yes, I'm sure a maid service would cost less to dry my shower, st my shower floors, but, you know. It's all good. Um, 